Could a volcanic eruption have triggered the spread of the Black Death? Scientists have pieced together an incredible timeline of events that led to the deaths of millions of people. Here's more. This is Charterhouse Square in London, now a leafy garden space, but in the 14th century it was a plague pit, a mass grave for tens and thousands of people killed in the capital by the Black Death. But new research suggests you need to wind back the clock to understand the origins of the pandemic. And it points to a massive volcanic eruption around the year 1345, somewhere in the tropics, that shrouded the whole planet with a cloud of ash and sulphur particles. Analysis of tree rings suggests the climate was cold and wet for three consecutive years throughout southern Europe. Trees and plants grew slowly and crops failed, causing famine. It could explain why the Italian port cities of Venice, Genoa and Pisa reached out to the Mongols of the Golden Horde around the Black Sea in 1347 and began to import grain. But with the food came the fleas. They carried the plague bacterium back to Italy where it jumped onto rats and mice which in turn spread along trade routes around Europe. Between a third and half of the entire population of the continent was wiped out. These Italian cities, they have uh, developed that sophisticated system of grain security and imports in case of emergency. They managed to get the grain and they managed to prevent starvation. It's really bad luck or coincidence that in that grain that they acquire in the end, there is the black bacterium. This is, um, yeah, kind of an irony. Previous research on ancient DNA has suggested the plague bacterium originated from wild gerbils in Central Asia, but the trigger for its sudden deadly spread to Europe has been a mystery. It's the first time that climate, food and trade have been linked directly to the Black Death. A medieval warning of the risks of global supply chains and fragile food security, and how animal diseases can spread to humans to start a deadly pandemic. It sounds a lot like more recent history.